Hello and welcome to this video about steel testing. In this video we're going to be checking Rockwell hardness. When it comes to testing the hardness of steel, there are different methods that are used to suit the steel grade you are testing. The different test methods are Brunel, Vickers and Rockwell. In this video we'll be focusing on Rockwell hardness testing. Before we jump in, let's have a look to see who this video is for. So the hardness of a steel determines how much it can resist deformation and abrasion. Understanding Rockwell hardness testing of steel is an important factor for any design engineer. Let's have a look at Rockwell hardness in more detail. Now the Rockwell scale is a hardness scale based on indentation hardness of a material. This test method determines the hardness by measuring the difference between the depth of penetration of an indenter under a large load compared to the penetration made by a pre-load. There are different scales donated by a single letter that use different loads or indenters. The result is a dimensionless number noted as HRA, where in this case A is the scale letter. So it's hardness Rockwell and then the scale is being measured in. Now steel is generally measured in the C scale which is shown as HRC. This table shows all of the different scales on the majority of the scales that are used in the Rockwell hardness. Now what are the Rockwell hardness test operation steps? Let's have a look. So we've got an image on the right hand side here and we've got some definitions on the left. So let's go through those. So to start with A, this is the depth reached by indenter after applying a preload or known as the minor load. The second image there, B, this is the position of the indenter during total load, which is minor plus major loads. And then C, the final position reached by indenter after an elastic recovery of sample material. Now D, you can see this here, is the distance measurement taken representing difference between preload and major load position. This distance is used to calculate the Rockwell hardness number. Now that calculation is shown here, which is HR, which is the hardness for Rockwell, equals N minus H over S, where N is the factor specific to the Rockwell hardness scale the material is being tested against, so you need to check that in your tables. Small h is the measured distance in indentation measured in millimeters, and S is a scale unit based on a Rockwell hardness scale measured in millimeter. According to the ASTM E18 documentation, the Rockwell hardness is determined as follows. Using a diamond spheroconical indicator, Rockwell hardness equals 100 minus H over 0 0.002 millimeters. So the known data here is the 100 and or the small s, which is 0.002 millimeters, where h is your measurement. Let's have a look at the setup of a Rockwell hardness test. In the first image here, you can see the sample being loaded into the machine and the correct indenter placed in the machine itself. Secondly, the table is raised up to the correct position. Now this is achieved by a microscope where the surface of the test material comes into view and is in focus. Three, this is where the preload is applied. And then four, this is the final force, in other words the full load. And this is the results from the machine, which is fully automated and calculated. We can see the value here on this gear wheel has a Rockwell hardness of 54.89 in the scale of C. Typical Rockwell hardness values. 
Now, very hard steel, for example, chisels or quality knife blades, they have an HRC of around 55 to 66. Hardened high speed carbon or tool steel, such as M2, W2, O1, or CPMM4, D2, as well as many of the newer powder metallurgy stainless steel, such as CPM S30V or CPM154, and indeed the ZDP189, for example. Now, axes, they have a Rockwell hardness of around 45 to 55, whereas brass, as we know, is a lot softer, is measured in the B scale here, so we can see the HRB, and that has around 55. The table on the right shows some typical values for knife steels. Now, we were talking about the S30V earlier. We can see that on the chart here has around 60 on this particular chart. If you would like to learn more, just visit our website where you can see materials we regularly work with or processes we know very well. Well, thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Soft East, and I shall see you in the next video. Thank <music> you.